Bible. I said I was about to record. <laughs> God. What's up, YouTube? I mean, what's up, MMA world? Don't mind her. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Fighting Nurse, where we talk about all things MMA, UFC, uh, combat sport. Thank you guys, man. I've had a couple of new had a couple of new subscribers um i appreciate it thank you guys for subscribing and if you haven't yourself yet go ahead and like and subscribe i drop content about once a week so yeah thank you guys for coming back man i appreciate it let's get right into it um we're gonna be talking about ufc fight night 151 taking place in canada we're gonna be talking about the main event is gonna be cowboy Cerrone. but i like quinta it's the number eight uh Lightweight in the world versus number four. Cowboys number eight. I like Winter is number four. This should be a great fight. These are two dogs, two dogs going at it. Like no bark, just going at it. Just no talk at all, just going at it. Um, Cowboy is an OG of the sport. He's been around for a long time. He's making another final push at the lightweight division. Um, and I like Quinton, man. He's he's a veteran. He's been around for a while himself, and he's finally getting some shine and recognition. You know, after a couple of fights that he was impressive in. So yeah, this should be a great fight. If you don't know anything about Cowboy Cerrone, you you need to look that man. This it's crazy, man. Dude is crazy. He's a wild, crazy man. Like he's almost lost his life how many times? Maybe ten times. Just look him up. Go on YouTube, you know, or Google. Look him up. Like there was one time he was disemboweled. His guts were hanging out of his stomach. He survived that and the man is still fighting. Like, man is crazy, crazy man. But yeah, that's why this should be a great fight. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So Cowboy Cerrone, he is 35, 11 and one. Uh, his record, he's 36 years old. Like I said, he's been in the game for a while. OG, OG of the sport. He's been around for a long time. He has so many records of fights, wins, all that stuff. He recently has a kid, you know, he said this, this is kind of light a new fire under him and he's trying to make another run at the lightweight title. So he's getting it. His last, his last fight was against, um, uh, was against Alexandra Hernandez. I mean, that was a great fight. To be honest, I didn't think he was gonna win that fight because Alex is a, is, was an up and coming undefeated fighter that had been running through people and it was powerful guy great wrestler but powerful you know and he comes out bum rushing you know so i, I was kind of expecting him to run through uh cowboy the way darren till kind of did as well you know but nah cowboy said nah shut all that shit down and knocked him out in the third round with a beautiful head kick you know um i was really really impressed you could see that the dude he's like cowboy is on you know he did that he submitted uh mike perry as well you know he's on he's you can see that he's like ready and he's, he's, he's you know he's kind of back and really dialed in you know um his fighting style he's a very versatile style, uh, fighter very very versatile well-rounded maybe one of the most well-rounded fighters in the ufc in, in terms of my opinion i'm obviously he's 36 so he has a lot of experience but it's a great multi fighter great elbows and knees you know he's a long range fighter so he likes to keep you at the end of his kicks at the end of his punches as well you know so if you want to beat him you have to kind of rush him you know especially in the first round he's a very slow starter you you have to kind of rush him and like usually people beat him in the first round but yeah um He's great at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If he goes to the ground, he's ready for that. He has chokes, triangles, and arm bars. A couple of fights ago, he beat Mike Perry with an arm bar, you know? So he is completely well rounded. He has a quick jab that he utilizes just to keep you at range or push kicks or side kicks, head kicks, anything. He's a long range fighter, but um, yeah, man. He, and he has beautiful combinations, man. The one, the one combination, probably my favorite combination I've ever seen was the one with uh, Rick Story. Hit him with a three-piece combo and then finished him up with a head kick. Beautiful, just completely beautiful. But yeah, um, that's Donald, man. Let's talk about his opponent now, Ally Quinta. He's been in the game for a while too. He's 32 years old. Um, he's finally getting some recognition because he, he, well, it wasn't, it wasn't because he won the fight. He actually lost the fight, but he lost to the current champ, the world class beater. Or what do you even call him? Habib Namagametov. Like, dude is just unstoppable, but he made him look human. 
it made Habib look human. That's why he's getting all the shine. I mean, it was a late look notice fight. He didn't have a training camp and he took him five rounds. You know, Kana didn't go five rounds. Kana went two rounds, you know. Took him five rounds and started stuffing his steak down in the fourth and fifth round and make Khabib had to utilize his jab. I was I was like, we're looking at Khabib like, yo, what are you doing? You can't take him down? So that was, uh, he, he looked good. And then the next fight, he looked even better. In my opinion, at least, because he was able to beat uh, Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee, Kevin Lee's a problem, you know. It's twice now that Al has beaten Kevin Lee. I think he just has Kevin's number. But Kevin, the first time, after the first time, Kevin in improved tremendously after their first fight. He got bigger, stronger, his striking got a whole lot better. The second time after the fight, I was expect I was expecting um, Kevin Lee to beat him, and then he was he was looking good in the first round. I mean, he almost choked him out with. Tagging him, tagging him on the feet, but then he figured him out, and Al just beat him. Was talking shit to him too later in the round. You know, Kevin got a big mouth. The guy was talking shit to him, so yeah, he he broke him down, and I was super impressed with that. Super, super impressed with that. Um, but yeah, he's a great fighter, man. Uh, he's really a wrestler that can box. His striking is improved over the years like he went through a row of just knocking motherfuckers out you know and um yeah his striking has gotten a lot better he's in love with his right hand he likes the right straight and the overhand right he uses that a lot those are his primary weapons or he'll just take you down and just beat the shit out of you he does that too um but yeah he's a good fighter he has great form he's a basic in terms of striking but it's effective sometimes basic is the most effective way you know so Another impressive fight that he was in was the fight against Jorge Masvidal. Jorge, I feel like, is the most underrated fighter in the UFC. I mean, he's been, I mean, you saw what he did to Darren Till in England. Like, nobody, I mean, Darren Till has only lost to Tyron Woodley, but he knocked them spark out. Spark out, like out. You know, that's Jorge, you know, and that man is a dog, straight dog. You saw what he did to Leon Edwards, too. I love me so some Jorge, man, yeah. But he went to split decision with Jorge, and that, that's that's impressive to me. That basically means a judge gave him, you know, the fight. I mean, the judge thought he won that fight, so that was mad impressive to me. I didn't get the chance to actually watch that fight, but getting a split de decision over Jorge is, is mad impressive. So yeah, Ali's no joke either. But for this fight, I feel like I feel like Cowboy's gonna take it. Um, Cowboy High, it's like I said, he's just all around, well-rounded fighter. Uh, his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is good. His wrestling is good. I feel like he's just gonna be able to like weather the storm initially, and probably just TKO, T, TKO him in the third or fourth round. I'm calling head kick, technical knockout in third or fourth round. Fourth round, technical knockout. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for coming back. I really appreciate it. If you haven't liked the subscribe, go ahead and do that. I drop content about once a week. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great week. I'll see you next week. Deuce.